Hi everyone, I'm Jose Mary from GenScript, and today we're interviewing iGen team iGen Bon. So, iGen Bon, can you please tell us more about yourself and your team project? Yes, I guess I'll just start. I'm Alex. I'm a team leader of uh, iGen Bon, and um, yeah, maybe we first introduce ourselves. Who wants to go on? My name is uh, Friedrich or Frederick. It's easier to pronounce for the internationals. Um, and yes, I'm master student microbiology. I'm uh, supervising the lab experiments in our team. Um, yeah, and developing the project itself. Uh, I'm Robin. I'm a bachelor student at HBRS, and I'm part of the team. Yeah, so pr project development, I would say. For the most part, yeah. Yes. So, yeah, about our project, um, maybe Friedrich or Robin, you, you do the most of the project design, maybe you can start. Okay, so um, we called our project BioLan. It's composed of um, the two words biolo biology and lanthanides. Lanthanides are rare earth metals and um, they are uh, currently extracted by a chemical methods and we want to introduce um, a biotechnological um, application for extracting the lanthanides, um, yeah, and also for recycling them. Um, we have a protein called Len Modulin for this. It uh, binds the lanthanides really um, selective, uh, selectively and highly efficient and um, it does this under real um, mild conditions. So this could substitute um, yeah, processes that are not good for the environment, for example, um, yeah, acidic uh, processes and also high temperature processes um, to get a more sustainable um, extraction. Currently there are of course are other chemicals that also bind the lanthanides, right? but these are more like synthetic chemicals. And um, yeah, with our approach, we try to make it a little bit more sustainable by using proteins that also don't have a bad impact on the environment afterwards. And one surplus of this protein also is that it acquires the lanthanides at really low concentrations, and this would make recycling processes more um, economical and um, this would also increase the sustainability of the lanthanide um, life cycle. Yeah. Maybe, maybe as a quick comparison, right now we have, uh, I guess, I think about 1% of uh, lanthanides that we use are actually recycled and get back into the production cycle. Um, whereas with other uh, metals that are used in electronics, for example, gold, we even have 20% recycling rate. And um, with our project, we try to, we aim to maybe increase this uh, recycling percentage. And the final goal is um, then to, to supply a um, applicable process for upscaling. Um, so this would then be useful for industrial um, context. So since you've mentioned upscaling, uh, so this form of using synthetic biology for the remediation uh, of, of lanthanides, uh, what type of larger impact would your, would, you, would your team be hoping to make with this application? Yes, um, shall I start answering? So it's uh, definitely the environmental aspect, this is really um, a huge uh, focus of our project that we uh, will reduce the energy and also the um, chemical burden associated with lanthanide um, extraction. Um, so this would be the major impact. And then also um, that the dependence on, um, yeah, a few countries currently of the lanthanide market will be um, spread to more countries to be yeah um, spread to also the recycling so that we um, can be independent if there are um, yeah circumstances that reduce the um, 
the um, reliability of those resources. Pre previous studies have already shown that um, the land modulin, our protein, can be used multiple times and still binds pretty efficiently. So um, with our project, we also try to, um, yeah, um, invent production cycles where we reuse our land modulin multiple times. And uh, we also try to aim to, um, yeah, use, um, for example, protein uh, extraction techniques that can be scaled up to industrial levels. So we go beyond affinity uh, purification. And how is your team planning to bring awareness to your project? So, uh, you know, the bioremediation of the lanthanides and removing these chemicals uh, from your nearby uh, environments. Are, how are you reaching out to your community or your uh, nearby, uh, nearby ecosystems to uh, inform the public and, and let them know how, uh, how this can affect them? Yes, so um, this is, I guess, more of a social outreach uh, part. Um, we already been to a couple of schools and presented there to uh, students our projects and IGM in general, of course. So um, that is one side that we are still doing. Um, also, we are, for example, um, organizing a science slam, which will take place next week, uh, next month, um, where we also um, where we also uh, present our project. And um, in the past, we tried to do like these um, city booths um, where we could promote our projects. Uh, sadly, that didn't work out uh, because of the COVID pandemic, but um, I guess in the summer regulations will loosen. So uh, we also will go into our uh, beautiful uh, city of Bonn and uh, try to get there to reach a more broad audience, uh, except from, I guess, uh, science enthusiasts that look at the science slam or students. Yeah, and one current development is that we also recruited a company that is interested in the technology and that they will um, give us um, yeah contacts um, to industrial um, partners so that we can, um, for for example, perform use cases um, or use case studies. So is there anything, uh, is there anything your team has found uh, challenging in the, in the process of uh, discovering the key proteins to uh, remediate the lanthanides or uh, overall challenges maybe? Um, having an IGM team during the pandemic is of course very challenging. Um, mm, I think uh, one big challenge that we had really project wise was to decide um, which type of ores and min minerals we want to use because um, of course we are we're working in a university and the problem is a lot of these minerals have uh, some radi radioactive ingredients or um, minerals in there um, but we got in contact with um, geologists from all over the world and chemists from all over the world and um, now we are on a pretty good way found our preferred um, mineral and yeah except that some more challenges no Friedrich Urban no I think that was the biggest challenge with the with the actinide concentration in certain minerals uh, so in addition to sometimes the minerals having too much too many actinides uh, we had to conform to regulations, so German regulations and European regulations about how to handle radioactive substances because these actinides are heavily radioactive, but the concentration is really, really small. So we had to um, talk to radiation specialists at our university and ask them basically what is the maximum amount we can work with. And they gave us the amount and then we had to specifically search for minerals that adhere to that amount or go below to that amount. And in the end, we eventually found it, so challenge overcome. Well, Ajahn Bon, is there anything else your team would like our audience to know about your project? Yeah, it's, it's just in principle that, that we are 
amazed what nature provides us um, that we see um, yeah that um, this protein has the capability to outperform all um, synthetic uh, chelators and that it can yeah and it can be used for several more aspects um, and that we are really excited to develop this project to um, get to know this protein um, uh, yeah and um, we are happy to um, present you our results at the Giant Jamboree. Um, and looking forward to meeting the other teams um, and other interested persons in our project. Be, because Friedrich just mentioned that, um, yeah, we are excited to find out about the properties of Lanmodulin. One would have to maybe mention that this is a fairly new protein. It was only uh, found in 2018, right? Yes, uh, characterized in 2018. Characterized mm -hmm. in 2018. So um, there haven't been that much, there are not that many papers on uh, how it behaves. And um, yeah, so it's also pretty um, exciting and new for us to um, understand it, and get to work with it. Well, Ajahn Bond, thank you so much for meeting with me today. Uh, we wish you the best of luck in the 2021 iGEM Jamboree. And we just want to remind everyone that GEMScript's uh, iGEM sponsorship competition is ongoing and it's uh, completely being run on Twitter. So uh, good luck in our sponsorship competition as well. And once again, thank you for meeting with me. Thank you for Thanks. having us. No problem. Take care. <laughs>